Honorable Babu Ongili Owino, the president of the Gen Z 2027. We as the Gen Z have decided that 2027 we are going to elect Honorable Babu Owino Ongili. Kumekuwa na maandamano na watoto wa politician attended. This is to tell you that even watu wenyi politician mwenye mko pale nje watu wenyu pia walikuwa na attend that demonstration to prove that pia wao walikuwa wamechoka watoto wadogo wanamalizwa because of this what we call the finance bill yeah? mtoto very innocent very innocent kids bana anapigwa risasi ah it's very very sad man Honorable Babu Ongili Owino, the president of the Gen Z 2027. We as the Gen Z have decided that 2027 we are going to elect Honorable Babu Owino Ongili for the presidency seat comes 2027, not even governor. Babu Owino, we as the Gen Z, we are behind you. Because in Kenya, we are 55%. And the 55% of the Gen Z are behind you. The 55% of the youths are behind you. Go for it, honorable. We promise that we are going to make you the next president of the Republic of Kenya. Babu Ongili Owino, the sixth. Hello, guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the love. Nini watu true, nini watu true sana. Ondo na today episode, we want to talk about Honorable Babu Owino and the MP kids who attended the demonstration. The, all the MP kids who attended the demonstration. Even the kids of the MP, they knew that Apa Tunagandamizo is this finance bill. And they decided to attend the demonstration. Watch, watch, watch up to the end. That's when we are going to talk about the kids of the MP. All the MP who voted yes and their kids attended the demonstration, which is very ironical. Which is very ironical. Hello, let's start with Babu Ongili Owino. Babu Owino, God bless you for the good heart that you have towards the common Mwanainchi. You are doing it with all your heart. You are giving it your all. Mungu wazidi kukubariki. You are the leader who was chosen by God. The president chose himself. You are the leader mwenye tunasema that ulitumwa na Mungu. Don't be high. You are not the hypocrite like people wanasema that we are chosen by God. But you, through your action, your actions speak louder than the words. Each and every time that the Gen Z have decided to go for the demonstration, you are always there with them. Umesimama now. When you are kwa OC, you are in Kenyatta. Na ukaeza kuwasaidia. We saw it with our own eyes what you did. Honorable, God bless you for the good heart, for the good uh, courage that you have towards the common mwanainchi. On Tuesday, at night, the massacre that happened in Gidurai, people were killed hemelessly. What were Lipigo Marisasi there? Hmm? Na make EDF. In the morning, Honorable Babu Owino, you are there to consult them. You are there to speak with the public. You are there to tell them that everything is going to be okay. You are there to tell them that the youth, you are going to stand with the youth here and there. Ulis Mama Apo. God bless you, Mr. God bless you, Honorable. Mungu wazidi kukubariki. We as the youth will continue to spread the good things that you are doing to the public. Au ifanyi juya kunini is from your heart. Una ifanya na roya yako yote. Babu Owino Ongeli. Babu akona jawabu. Kukiwa na tabu. Akona suluisho kwa sababu. Thank you so much Mr. Sir. Thank you so much Honorable. What happened in Rungai where people were killed on Thursday? It was very sad to see that Rungayo asewa mepigo marisasi sijui nini mefanyika, nini menini, watu, and even kids, ban. Ki, ay, ban. watoto, watoto wanamalizo, ban. what is really happening in Kenya? Adi watoto wadogo wanamalizo, because of this what you call the finance bill. Yeah? Mtoto very innocent, very innocent kids, ban. anapigwa risasi. Ah, it's very, very sad, ban. Kusikia disa the government inaingia mpaka sa inaanza kufanya watoto vibaya bana. It's really, really sad bana. The government, I know all of you kuna inyo kuna watoi bana. 
put yourself in the socks of the parent munyako pale rongai yenye mtoto wake amepigwa risasi there is a mother who was speaking alikuwa anaongea uchungu that kuna mtoto wake mwenye amepigwa risasi kumi. risasi kumi. then there is a police mwenye watu wamesimama karibu na gari yake polisi anapiga tia gas katikati ya watu it was very sad kusikia kitu kama inafanyika a police officer that police that did that uko na watu put yourself in the shoe of kuna watu wenyewe wako hapo tia gas imepigwa karibu na ni how will you feel the president of the republic of kenya uko na watoto how will you feel put yourself in the shoe of those parents wenyewe wako pale rongai wenyewe wako pale gidurai when your toy wake wali walipigwa risasi na wakadedi what if this happens to you utafeel aje it's very sad we don't tolerate about this please please the president of the republic of kenya do something but when ungekuwa mtu wa kwanza umeshakimbia kinyata umeangalia wale wenye walishutiwa it's very sad kusikia that umesema watu wenye waliulia it was only six and you are going to cut up for them Sad sad is very sad bana it was not six it was more than six kusikia wewe unasema ni sita ironical is very ironical as the president of the republic of kenya what i can tell you change your advisor wana ku mislead they are making you to take the country in the wrong direction country iko mbaya ni kubaya huko ground we are telling you because when you are kusafiri let's tell you the truth country iko mbaya mambo inaenda mbaya inaenda mbaya sana like what honorable sonko told you see ni ukweli mambo iko sawa people are really suffering ni kubaya bana do something as the president of the republic of kenya si kuzuri bana ulikuwa ulikuwa unapendwa ulikuwa unapendwa mbaya sana well you are campaigning with hasla ulipendwa you are the people's choice say what is happening nini imefanya umebadilika at once bana you are now is not the one that we knew what is really happening what is really happening do something as the president of the republic of kenya fanya kitu before mambo yende segemnege do something honorable babo we know we believe in you we believe in you come 2027 we are going to pay you tunaenda kukulipa heavily we promise you that for me and all my fans we promise you that that you are going to be behind you because you have confirmed to be the people's choice unafanya kazi embakasi ume create employment for so many youths outside there god bless you for the good work and this is what happened kumekuwa na maandamano na watoto wa politician attended this is to tell you that even watu wenyewe ni politician mwenye mko pale nje watu wenyewe pia walikuwa na attend that demonstration to prove that pia wao walikuwa wamechoka sonko sonko mtu wa sonko alikuwa pale nje alikuwa kwa demonstration that happened on tuesday mtoto wa sonko alikuwa the mp of the kionjuri mtu wake alikuwa pale nje kwa demonstration aki strike justin muturi mtu wa justin muturi alikuwa hapo aki demonstrate the attorney general mtu yake alikuwa pale aki demonstrate and to make the matters worse baka anakuwa abducted people were saying that yeye ndiye alikuwa ana organize the demonstration which is not true wamechoka this government wanataka kutuweka kwa kona we cannot talk we cannot breathe kama tunafinyiliwa chini we are not supposed to talk we are supposed to open our mouth because we have freedom for speech we have the freedom yenye tuko nayo governed by the constitution we are supposed to talk na tunafaa tuwaambie mtoto wa Justin Muturi alikuwa pale nje kwa demonstration alikuwa last week and this week amekuwa eh Ole Sapit the good pres- the friend of the president himself Ole Sapit mtoto wake wote walikuwa pale kwa demonstration it's very sad it's very very sad kusikia kitu kama hii inafanyika yet watu wanaangalia that is a joke watoto wadio heshimiwa alikuwa pale nje in the demonstration president do something before it's too late honorable babu wino god bless you god bless you for the good work of coming to help the common mwananchi mungu azidi kukubariki and remember that we as the gen z we are behind you come 2027 and you are going to fight for you stand there for you come 2027 don't go for governor don't go for governor go for the presidency 
seat and you are going to repay you. Let's meet next time. Have been your host, Jeff Otieno. Until next time, game over.